Okay. It's a lot busier than I expected it to be. Prom is literally in a month. This is called We're All Dumb and Waited Until the Last Minute. Hi girls, are you shopping for prom? Yes we are. Okay, awesome. Go ahead and start picking out some dresses, and then when you're ready for a dressing room, just come find me. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, look at this dress! Oh my gosh, that would look so good on you. I know! Plus, it has sparkles. Sparkles can be so annoying. I don't know how you like them so much. Because they can be pretty. I don't know about that. What about this dress for you? Perfect amount of sparkles? Okay, that is kind of cute. I look like an eggplant. At least you don't look like you're wearing vomit. You're right about the sparkles, though. Too many is annoying, because this thing itches. Finally, you agree on the sparkles. Let me see your dress. Why are you crossing your arms? Uh, I don't think it'd be appropriate to flash everyone at the store. This one is a big no. know if I'm ever going to find the right dress. We've been here for two hours. Don't worry. We'll find the right one any minute now. I'm sure of it. I just definitely won't want strapless because this is falling down on me. Maybe if you had bigger boobs, it would be more flattering on you. Maybe if you had a brain, you'd shut the fuck up. Oh, what? Did I strike a nerve? Is there any way that you could go one day without annoying the hell out of us? Just one? We're just trying to give advice. Vanessa needs a little help with the boob issue. She needs more flattering dresses. You have five seconds before my fists get to know your face. Come on. We have a couple more dresses to go through. Also, thanks for not pummeling her into a pulp today. I get five freebies for not pummeling people. Reagan! Reagan! What's up? You won't believe what came in the mail last night! No, but I have a feeling you're about to tell me. I got in! Wait, like the art program? Yes! Oh my gosh, Vanessa, I'm so proud of you! I'm going to Pinewood College. I couldn't have done it without you. You totally could have. No, literally. If you didn't let me paint that portrait of you, I don't know what I would have done. Seriously, though, congrats. I know how badly you wanted to get into that school. Have you heard back from any colleges? Not yet. I'm starting to think I didn't get into any. Don't say that. They would be dumb not to accept you. Hopefully just one accepts me. They will. So, I have a question. Go on. Are you and Jay together? I have no clue. I haven't talked to him in almost two weeks, if you haven't noticed. We've noticed. You made it very clear. We haven't been that bad. Hey, Conway. All right, cool. Still ignoring me. Hey, Vanessa, could I borrow a pencil? Yeah, here. Also, are we still going to the mall later? That's the plan. You want to come, Reagan? Depends. Is he going? Oh, so I don't have a name to you now. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I talking to you no name? I don't know. Are you? Because you sure as shit haven't been all this time. Wow, you do have a brain. Good job. Okay, maybe we should calm down a little bit. Oh, now I have a brain. Last weekend, I apparently did not. You know how people have selective hearing? You have selective moments of when to use your brain. And you have selective, I want to pick fights all the time. That didn't even make sense. Okay, maybe we've been bad, but it's his fault. You're really not going to talk to him? I will eventually, just not right now. All right, 
I'll stop bugging you about it then. Can we just take our time to go to class? I want to avoid, you know. That's fine. Come on. Hey, Reagan, are you okay? Peachy. You don't sound okay. Can I come in? I'd rather you didn't. Fine. Can you talk to me from there, then? <sighs> Why are boys so stupid? Because we never grow up? I'm being serious, Dad. It's like I say something, and I'm just always lying. Like, oh, the sky is blue. No, you're lying, even though the sky is clearly blue. Does this have to do with Jace? Possibly. Have you tried talking to him? Obviously. Reagan. No, but it's like no matter what I say or do, I'm wrong. Kind, kind of. I explode on him for no reason. But that's besides the point. It's just annoying. Like, hey, I'm over here trying to be your girlfriend even though I suck at it. Not true. This is why I don't like feelings and I wish that I could not care. But I do. I do care about the stupid boy. All right, damage control is here. What are you doing here? Your dad called me. He figured you needed a friend. I'm fine. Oh yeah, you look so fine. I am. I just hate being the bad guy all the time. You aren't. You just need to open yourself up more sometimes. I did. Look where that got me. Alone, in my room, depressed, smoking a stupid blunt because I clearly have great coping mechanisms. Like, haha, I'm so cool, I do drugs and act like I'm not like other girls, ha! Okay, no, but- No, no buts, I, I did this to myself. Now the one guy I care about thinks I hate them, even though I love him. You used the L word. N no, no I didn't. Yep. I see it in your face. You're blushing. You love him. <laughs> Will you shut up? Fine. But you need to talk to Jace. And that is where I'm going to stop you. I'm not running to him again. Last time it was my fault. This? This was all him. Technically, it was Cameron's fault. But what's new there? Okay, yes, but Jace accused me of doing something shady behind his back. I mean... Didn't you technically... Cheating, Vanessa. He thinks I cheated. Oh, right. That, uh... Okay, yeah, don't go running to him. But try not to give the cold shoulder if he does try to talk to you. Deal? Fine. Deal. Now come on. Let's go night swimming. It'll be good for you to relax. Maybe after you eat something, though. You know, Taco Bell does sound really good right now. You know, sometimes... I do enjoy Hi Reagan, because she makes really good fast food choices. Oh my gosh, he texted me. Who? The milkman. Who the hell do you think? Castro. Uh, what did he say? He wants to talk. I'm, I'm dealing with that tomorrow. I, I really just want tacos and girl time. Just pretend you didn't see it.